Welcome to our short video on how e-fuels are produced. So lately we read a lot about e-fuels in the media and now we want to explain how can water and renewable energy in combination with CO2 fight against the climate change. Thanks to modern technology we can use water and air and turn it into green fuels. Um, the first step we need on this way is the so-called electrolysis. Um, here we split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This um, can be done by using renewable energy, of course. Um, different kind of technologies exist, um, for example the alkaline electrolysis or the PEM electrolysis. If we have an exceed heat source, we can also use the so-called high temperature electrolysis. What else is needed? Next, in the second step, we need to get CO2. CO2 is available, for example, in the ambient air. Here we can capture CO2 from the ambient air. More concentrated point sources are available in the industry. And also in future, we will have a lot of unavoidable um, CO2 sources in the industry, like steel, cement or glass factories. And here we can capture CO2 and this CO2 can be used to produce e-fuels. Uh, what happens with hydrogen and CO2 in the next step? In the next step, hydrogen and CO2 get combined to our product, the so-called e-fuel. Here we have different synthesis routes available. Um, first, we can use the so-called Fischer-Tropsch synthesis, um, which is a well-known chemical process uh, for more than 100 years. Here we always produce a synthetic crude oil, which can be further split in refineries in different fractions of hydrocarbon, for example diesel or kerosene for the aviation or gasoline. A second route is the so-called methanol synthesis. Methanol can be mixed by to, to petrol or it can be further converted in a further step um, to 100% to gasoline. A third combination is possible if you want to produce gaseous fuels. Um, here you can use the methanation. A fourth route um, is um, needed if you want to produce ammonia via Haber-Bosch synthesis. Um, here we don't need CO2, uh, we need to get nitrogen, which is also available in the ambient air. But the most important question, why are e-fuels climate neutral? Thanks Lars for the question. Um, let me explain this on the screen. Um, so actually we have a closed carbon cycle um, when we're using e-fuels because the same amount of CO2 is bound during the production of e-fuels in the e-fuels plant that is later emitted by using e-fuels, for example, in a car. So, in total, we are not emitting um, further CO2, which is leading to more global warming. Are e-fuels only a solution for cars? No, of course not. You're absolutely right. Um, this applies also to all kinds of applications. For example, e-fuels are used uh, in the aviation, in the maritime sector, in the off-road um, sector, or for example in the chemical industry. Um, we always have in the use phase a closed carbon cycle and are therefore climate neutral. So thanks a lot for this explanation. Now we know how e-fuels are produced. And if you want to find out more, you can go to our website and read more about e-fuels and everything around it.